So today we're gonna talk about the iCloud. And so first of all, once you get your um, your iPhone 4S, what you need to do is you go to the, need to go in the settings, and you need to go to the iCloud, and then here you can set up your account and you can choose which to synchronize either way: mail, contact, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, and photo stream. You gotta turn it on. And in order to do that, you need to actually upgrade the iPhoto on your computer on your Mac Air here and so and you need to get the 9.2 version and then after you can also um, share your documents and data and be able also to find your iPhone whenever you lose it then you'll be able to connect on your iCloud and then be able to geolocalize it alright so here also once you get on the Mac Air then you need to go also on the settings here once you upgrade the, uh, the Lion you need to have a 10.7.2 uh, and then here you will find iCloud and then you just need to go on here and then you will have your account you log in and then you'll be able also to synchronize everything alright so once everything is synchronized now I want to show you how iCloud is actually really cool and it's really easy everything makes easier um, so once you get on the iTunes um, another thing you need to do is like first of all you need to plug in um, your iPhone to the computer and then after you need to um, register the iPhone and then after you need to turn on backup to iCloud instead of backup to computer and then you need to sync uh, with this iPhone over Wi-Fi so then you will notice that your um, iTunes will be actually here um, plugged in there and so it will uh, remotely and wirelessly connect it to your computer which is a really nice feature of the iCloud so you don't even need to actually now uh, you don't need any cable in order to you, to um, allow it synchronization between your computer and your iPhone and imagine also you lose your computer or no matter what happened everything will be stored on the iCloud so you don't even need your computer actually to back up stuff on your iPhone which is really cool now let's try to take a picture with the iPhone and then see how does it shows actually on the iPhoto so I will, I will actually now open the iPhoto application and I go on photo stream and here I go here on the photo application and I'm just gonna take a simple picture right now so let's take a picture of a box here I touch the screen in order to make the focus and make all the adjustment on where I want it to be and I just here there's the plus button of a volume and I just need to press plus and it's gonna take the picture now once the picture is taken now let's wait a little bit and it should actually appear here on the photo stream iPhoto you just have gotta give it a little uh, minute just so it, you know it connects on the Wi-Fi I didn't have to touch anything, everything is just wireless. It's, you see now, he just detected that I took a picture right now and it's actually synchronizing and it should appear in a few moments. There we go, here's my picture. And you press space and here's the picture I just took with my iPhone. It just took a minute to you know allow the synchronization between the device and the computer. So that's actually a nice, brief, uh, um, good feature about the iCloud. And so if you guys have any question or any um, suggestion or anything, please let us know. We'll be glad to answer.